Hey guys, today I have an AWOW mini PC, and we're going to be turning this into an OpenSense router. As you can see, we have two Ethernet NICs. This is going to be the perfect little router box, so let's get started. Okay, so first what we're going to do, we're going to download an OpenSense image. So we're going to Google OpenSense ISO image. We're going to find a USB installer from their website. We're going to change this to DVD. And really, it does not matter, although one closest to you is going to be best. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. Okay, and just like that, we are downloading the disk image. Okay, so you're going to want to attach a USB flash drive to your computer. Open up Raspberry Pi Imager. You're going to select your operating system, which is your disk image that you downloaded. And you're going to select your USB drive. And click write, and it will write. I tried using Belina Etcher, but that unfortunately did not work with whatever um, type of disk image this is. So... Raspberry Pi Imager did, however, work. Okay, so we're going to click Continue, and we are now going to close out of this. Next, you're going to unplug your USB flash drive and plug it in to your new router. All right, now that we have our USB drive plugged in, we're going to plug in the power to our box, and this one looks like it's going to boot up right away. And unfortunately, it has booted to Windows. So we're going to power this device off. I'm holding the power button. I'm going to turn it back on, and we're going to try a different combination of F keys. So I'm trying F2 right now. Oh, there we go. We click no. Now we're going to go over to boot in the very top. You can't see this. And we're going to change this from booting from our hard disk to our USB drive, USB key, actually DVD right there. So we're going to go over here, click save, save and exit. And okay, so here we are, we are booting into OPN Sense as you can see right here. Okay, so once you have booted up your OPN Sense computer, or whatever you want to call it, your router, you're going to log in with installer and OPN Sense as your password. And here we are in the configuration page. We're going to continue, we're going to install, and we're going to install to our 128 gigabyte SSD, which obviously is like way overkill, but that's what I have. We're going to continue, and we're going to confirm that we want to use that disk. So we are going to change our root password here. And finally, we're going to go down to com complete install. We're going to exit and reboot. And when it reboots, you need to unplug your USB drive. So I have unplugged my USB drive. It is now booting. And there we go. So let's switch back to the other camera real quick. And we're going to be right back. Okay, so I have given myself... Actually, that's not that... This is my WAN connection here, where it's going to have an IP address that we can use. We're going to plug this into the box over here. I have no idea which port is which, but um, we're just going to find out here in a second. So the other cable here we're going to plug in. This is going to go to my laptop here, and we're going to plug it in over here. All right, so we have our links that are changing to online, so we're going to switch over here to our Mac and continue the setup. Okay, and if your setup is like mine, after you install, you're going to want to change... You're going to want to go in and change your interface settings real quick here. So you're going to type in root opn sense. You're going to type in root and the password that you have set. We're going to go to set interface. Whoa. We're going to go assign interfaces and we're going to configure our interfaces. Okay, and just like that, we have assigned our interfaces. So if you can tell, RE0 is going to be our LAN interface and RE1 is going to be our WAN interface doesn't really matter as long as you know which port to plug into and I don't so I'm going to try different ports until I get the right combination okay so now that we have successfully changed our interfaces we are now going to go to the IP address of our router now what this entails you're going to open up your web browser type in 192.168.1.101 and you're going to show details and visit anyway or in Chrome it's going to say continue and type in our login just like so. And here we go. You're into the setup wizard. Okay, so we're going to change our host name here. So we're going to set this to primary.local.b. 
Beam Networks cloud our primary server is going to be cloudflare and so is our secondary and you can leave all of these other settings the same you're going to continue this is all correct for me but if it's not you can change it wait actually that is not correct for me we're going to change that here there we go okay so we're going to go to next and as you can see we have all kinds of settings here i'm going to just leave everything the same and our lan interface lan ip address we're going to change to 10.140 dot 12 dot 1 actually no dot 1 dot 1 and we're going to go to next root password we're going to keep that the same continue reload changes so at this point you need to disconnect from your ethernet reconnect if you change your ip address if not you're going to just leave it the same and just log in to your router just like normal or reload your page and you'll start to see the rest of the settings and i'll show you basically how to set it up and we'll do a speed test here in a second as well Okay, so now we are logging into our router with the new settings that we have entered, and we can see that we have a WAN IP address as well as a local IP address. So let's open up speed test here, and as you can see, we have no internet connection because if we go to firewall, or sorry, if we go to WAN on our interfaces, we need to disable these two options. Click save and apply, and then we can run a speed test here, and boom, there we go. So that is pretty much what I can expect here with my router, and that is actually a pretty good speed test. So, very happy. This was such an easy setup. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully it was pretty straightforward. Basically, we just got to download the disk image, install it to the USB drive, then from the USB drive, install it to your computer. I'm going to leave a link to this um, computer that I used in the link in the description below. I got it for Prime Day for $100, so it was a pretty good deal. If you have any other questions, make sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.